In lesson 30, another topic is called uh, decimal parts of a number. Now, we've already had uh, problems with, which I refer to as of what is problems. And remember in of what is problems, the word of means multiply. The word what means a, a letter or a variable. And you can use any letter. Usually you want to pick a variable or a letter that represents the topic you're talking about. And the word is represents an equal sign. And really, this isn't anything that's uh, drastically new other than that we're working with decimals when we're uh, uh, talking about these of what is problems. Let's take a look at the first example. All right, now in example one, I want you to write this down in your notebooks and copy it down just like I have it on this screen. Um, first of all, I'm going to underline the uh, key word. So we have of, we have what, and we have is. And all I'm going to do is take this uh, more or less uh, word expression. I'm going to write it using. Uh, I'm going to write it as an algebraic equation, and I'm just going to follow the order of the the sentence. So I'm going to write down uh, 0 0.16. So 0 0.16 of meaning multiply what number? So I'll use n for the number is 10.24. Now I've written it now as an equation. Now I'm going to solve the equation and I'm going to look at the side the variables on and I'm going to ask myself what are they doing to n? Well they're multiplying it by 0 0.16 so I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.16 and by doing that the, uh, the 0 0.16's cancel out. Now you can take your calculator or paper and pencil it out and you're going to uh, divide then uh, 10.24 by 0 0.16 and the answer on that is 64. Now the last thing you want to do is see you want to see if this answer makes sense so 0 0.16 now 0 0.16 if you if you represent that as a as a percent you know remember to change a number to a percent you, it's two places to the right 16 percent now 16 percent of a number isn't very much so would it make sense if you took 16% of 64? Now, 25%, now remember, actually, let's use a little easier uh, example. 50% is half of it. So 50% of 64 would be 32. Now, 16% is a lot less than that. So would 16% of 64 be around 10.24? And it looks like that's a pretty reasonable answer. All right, let's take a look at example two. I'll read the example, and again, I'm going to underline my key words. So the key words, what, of, and is. And I'm going to follow the, the uh, structure of the sentence. So what decimal, I'm going to use D to, rep to represent the decimal, of 80 is 60. Now I'm going to ask myself, what are they doing to D? They're multiplying by 80. I'm going to divide by 80. Now here they want a decimal, don't they? So it's okay if we take a calculator and we take uh, uh, 60 divided by 80. Or I can, uh, let's see, divide by 10. Uh, 6 divided by 8, I can divide both those in half. And I know that 3 fourths is 0 0.75. So let's see, what decimal? So 0.75 of 80 is 60. Now, if I represent that as a percent, is 75% of 80 or a lot of 80 about 60? And that would make sense. All right, example three. And again, all these kind of uh, are set up the same once you identify those keywords of, of what is. So of, is, and what. So 0 0.48 of times 8 is what number? Well, how am I going to get in? Well, you're just going to multiply 0.48 times 8. So I'm going to take uh, 0 0.48, take that times 8, and I get 3.84 is the number. Okay, now really that's all it is then. So nothing really too new other than we have decimals with these of what is problems.